We are back with more My Southern Home, and I'm here with Ben Tyler with Ben Tyler Building and Remodeling. And thanks for joining us again. Kimberly, we love being part of your show, and we've got a unique one for you today. You certainly do, and this is a restoration project. It is. This is uh, something that only old guys like us really know <laughs> how to do. And uh, it's a very interesting project. This house is actually on the National Register of Historic Places. So when we're doing projects like that, even though they're just repair jobs, we have a lot of uh, checking with the authorities on what we, materials we can use, how we do certain things. Um, it's very interesting. And we've got a good history of working on projects like this. It goes back to the 80s for a lot of us. We're basically repairing this uh, home from the top down. And what I mean there is we're completely rebuilding the cornice gutter, box gutter system, all new copper lines. There was a lot of rot in the system. Then we had to re make repairs, cover everything up, and then put the linings in. And if you'll look around the house, you'll see a lot of copper going in here because that would have been the material of choice back in the day and still is actually. Um, very hardy product that uh, will last longer than we will actually. But we, hey, we had to do a lot to this house, a lot of straightening. Um, we took the porch beams completely apart. Somebody had the bright idea of moving columns uh, somewhere along the years and uh, where the wood was joined above the columns obviously things would settle and you couldn't believe what this porch beam looked like before we started. Well the beams in particular were really important to not only the structure of the home but the homeowner really wanted to keep the original beams. Right so everything we've done basically is back to original shape and style. And we're using material, some modern materials, but basically a lot of wood for repair. And if you'll look around at the columns, which normally we might replace, in this case we're actually refurbishing them. So a lot of repair and a lot of time goes into putting this back to where it really was. Well, we say on this show, Ben, all the time, who you choose is important. And when you're dealing with a historic home, that can't be more true. We actually have to follow historic guidelines when working on homes like this. And that's a good guideline. will tell you what you can do, what you can't do, and how it's supposed to be done. So we were generally following everybody's directions and putting the house really back to original condition. Well, and you're used to dealing with the materials that we used during that time as well, because you've told me over and over stories about how you opened up a home or you started working on beams and things weren't exactly the way they should be. We have a general term called remodeling, and that's when <laughs> somebody said, uh, the ideas of doing some remodeling with some people that probably weren't professionals doing it. And this house had fallen into disrepair before the current owners uh, bought it. And they were very interested in maintaining the integrity of the home. And they called us to look at all the structure of the house. And you got to keep the water out and you've got to make sure things aren't going to fall down when there's a snow load. So we went right to work. and. Fortunately, we had great weather this past summer and didn't miss very many days at all. So we got a lot accomplished this season and we actually have a phase two that's going to go on when we're finished with this one and that will be a small addition and uh, re refurbishment to the back end of the house. Ben, we're mostly talking about the interior when it comes to historic homes and I didn't realize that this was such important work for you all. We have got a lot of experience with this and it goes back to the 1980s doing historic rehabs during the tax credit um, projects era and we've got some craftsmen that know what they're doing and uh, that's the most important thing is to have experienced people working on these older homes, older methods of construction. We generally know what we're going to find when we open things up and we know how to rebuild things like cornice gutters and take care of these beam situations. Uh, we do a lot of structural repair 
It's a, it's a good portion of our business. Uh, we like to do the most beautiful kitchens and bathrooms and room additions, but we also do a lot of uh, maintenance repair work. Well, it's wonderful to have a company like yours, Ben, because it's becoming a lost art. It certainly is. There's not many people going into the trades like there used to be, and we were fortunate to have some sources because we've been doing this for a long time. And we're training new people as they come into our company and finding the right subcontractors to work with and training together, really. And you have a nice gallery on your website, too, of past projects that you have worked on, and I know that we've been in a ton of historic homes with you. We have, and it's the areas of town we predominantly work in, and the type of work we do, there's not that many people doing it. So we've kind of got a niche for working on older homes. Ben, thank you so much for taking us to this project. It was so much fun to learn about. This is a special project, and we're glad that you guys could come by and take a look at it with us. We'll be back with more of My Southern Home in just a moment.